Dragon, Dragon, Rock the Dragon, Dragon Ball Z! Yeah! One of my favorite fucking animes of all time. If you ever saw me do the top five anime series of all time, you know damn well I'm a huge fucking fan. Happened since I was real fucking little. And the thing is, I still love it to this day. So love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. But <laughs> one of the things that I, I do like a whole lot, obviously, I, I like my figures and things like that. There's figures up here, but look like I just talked about Catherine there for a sec. But I got my figures, my statues and things like that. And whenever I'm out and about, I look for stuff like that. You know, I, I frequent thrift stores and everything, because I love the shit out of going to thrift stores. It's like a, a random treasure box. You don't know what the fuck is going to be inside. It could be awesome gold, or it could just be shit-covered, shitty shit-sickles. But sometimes you come across something so atrocious, so bad, so ugly, so deformed, so retarded-looking, that it actually becomes endearing and awesome and amusing. And that's where this comes into play. This right here, folks, just so happens to be the worst, the single worst Dragon Ball Z figure I have ever had the opportunity of setting my eyes on, let alone picking up and everything, and it's Trunks in Super Saiyan form. Look at him, he's, he's there. I decided I was going to review. Yeah, I've done figure reviews and everything, and mainly I do figure reviews of stuff that I actually like, because I went and got it, I wanted to go and talk about it and everything, and tell other people about it so they could go and check it out. But I haven't reviewed a figure that looks like it should just be fucking cremated. And this right here would be better off being cremated. Though I, I kind of like it because it's so retarded. So why don't I quit babbling and actually show you up close and personal why this thing is so absolutely fucking retarded. That expression right there speaks volumes. And when I say volumes, I mean complete and utter volumes of herp de derp. Look at this express. Look, look at this face. What the fuck is happening? That's the expression of somebody that has seen some shit that cannot be unseen. Just, why? Why is my one eye lazy and just going off to the fucking side? And he's all pouty and angry. I mean, he's in Super Saiyan form, so I mean, being pouty and angry kind of makes sense. But nobody has eyes like that when they go in Super Saiyan form. Unless they walked in on, like, I don't know, I guess he could have walked in on Bulma, like, shitting on herself and eating it or something, or just, like, sticking Krillin up her fucking vagina. I have absolutely no clue. It has to be something pretty bad. I, maybe Master Roshi just fucking drilling her. Whatever the case is, and, you know, that probably did happen, but regardless, just look at that fucking face. And, you know, I'll get to the fact that he's, uh, he's dying right there. But what do you expect? It's a fucking thrift store. His suit's all fucking jacked up looking. So, there he is. And, and if you're wondering, like, th look at this. He's, like, he's squishy. Like, he's squishy everywhere. And that's because this is, like, an outer skin. I shit you not, there's a regular trunks underneath. So, this is like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. He goes and finds, like, a super buff skin of his, and then puts it on, like, a fucking gigantic condom, and then wears it about. But he couldn't manage to find one with a, a fucking regular face. Instead, it has the, I can't believe I saw that! <laughs> Fuck! Here, we'll, we'll make it look like he's going Super Saiyan. Except for, when you put his arms up, look, look, look at this. Look at those four. Okay, those are Popeye forearms. As soon as she put his fucking arms up, all of a sudden his forearms are bigger than his fucking bicep. His one shoulder is all... What the fuck? Your arms don't fold like this. Arms do not fold like this. Look, look, okay? It, it, arms, do you see a fucking fold? Well, right there, apparently, there's supposed to be a fucking fold. What the fuck happened to you, Trunks? You're supposed to be a badass Super Saiyan going and protecting Earth and the whole entire fucking universe from a power level that we haven't felt like this before. And instead, you have folded shoulder syndrome and fucking Popeye art, and then derp face. Come the fuck on. But then, this. This. Do you realize how fucking creepy of a concept this is? His back is splayed open, and there's another trunks underneath. Now just imagine if he was walking around like this. Okay, this is like some shit out of Evil Dead. Right, well actually Army of Darkness to be exact. So there we go, we have Good Ash and Evil Ash. We have Herp Derp, I cannot unsee that Trunks, and then regular Trunks who's just like, get me the fuck out of here, I never asked to be in here. It's like, why? Why? And with his fucking messed up arms. But here, we'll, we'll go and we'll take him out. 
Listen to the sound. It's such a gross noise, honestly. There we go. So, there. You, you have a regular figure now. His feet, they bend and everything, and that's all fine and good. I don't see why it, just his feet bend, and there's no articulation here in the arms. And they're, they're stiff and rigid as shit, too. Like, I, I assure you, it actually takes a, a lot of effort. But if you thought this expression right here was pretty bad, look at that one. That shows you that this poor motherfucker is traumatized. Like, absolutely traumatized. Like, you would not be able to fucking believe. That's like seeing Vegeta breastfeed Goku or something. He walked in on that. And he was just like, that's that's not the fusion dance. That's not the fusion dance at all. And then jumps into new skin. And this, it, it just looks ridiculous. Like, look at this. Now, I understand that he got gigantic and bulky and everything, whatever he went Super Saiyan, but this, th this is fucking retarded. The, the, like, I, I can't believe that. Now, other than that, I mean, the, the figure looks fairly normal and everything. It, honestly, it looks more like a McDonald's Happy Meal toy, so that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Let's see, uh, who the fuck made this? I'm going to see right now. Uh, well, it was ma made in China. <laughs> there, there's a big fucking shocker right there. But 2001 BS STA is what it says on his leg. I have no fucking clue. I didn't bother trying to do any research on this. Just because I had seen this and I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. Wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> this is so fucking comical looking. Can you imagine? And he's just like, don't worry, you father. I will be able to help. Come on, Goten. Whoa, I'll get you. <laughs> Looks, he's just like, why is my skin doing this? What do you mean? It's fucking, it's sad. And, and the thing is, at the thrift store, can you see that? Right there, $1.99. Now, you might be thinking, that is a ripoff. I assure you 100%. I was okay for paying $2 for this. It's fucking ridiculous looking, and it's just, ah. Oh. And look on the inside in there. It's fucking... It, it, it seriously is. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. DBZ style. It's just, it's horrendous looking. And whenever he's inside of the skin, like, putting him back in there is a fucking chore and then some. But when he is, like, it, since he's so much smaller, like, his feet will bend up like this. Because, you know, that looks normal. Oh, hey guys, what you doing? Back completely open, head fucking bobbing around and everything. Shoulder completely ripped open like a fucking random Cerberus just fucking jumped on him and just went to town. And his foot's like this. I'm like, you might need some crutches, dude. You're like, you're all fucked up looking. You're like a crash dummy, but way worse. So yeah, I, I want to go, I want to show this off because you just have to see shit like this in person to be able to understand. So I'm hoping that my camera is picking up the extreme amount of fuckery that went into this figure. So yeah, there it is. Trunks. He's dead now. Well, there you have it. It's completely traumatized Trunks and then Trunks outer skin with random retard expression on it and just... What the fuck? Like, what were they thinking the entire time that they were creating this? Like, man, kids are really gonna eat this stuff up. Though, to be fair, during the entire fucking, like, DBZ craze and everything like that, yeah, us kids were pretty much buying up anything that we could that had Dragon Ball license anywhere on it. We were just like, oh my god, is that jockstrap with Dragon Ball Z on it? Oh, protect your Dragon Balls. <laughs> or some other random fucking motto on it. It, it could be birthday, uh, it could be birthday hats, it, it could be towels, it could be sandals, it could be fucking wallpaper. Though Dragon Ball Z wallpaper does sound kind of sweet. Y yes, I'm a fucking nerd. Fuck you, I don't give a shit. But it's still... Honestly, now I kind of want that. <laughs> Just, like, put it up, up along the entire, like, rim of the room and everything like that. But this, I had to show everybody. <laughs> you know, I, I genuinely like reviewing just pretty cool stuff. But something like this. <laughs> As he's going all fucking exorcist and everything without, like, doing the backwards walk, crap walk down the stairs and everything. Though he's getting there and he's just like, ugh. This, listen to that. This is fucking ridiculous. Somebody had to talk about it. Just... So, I hope you enjoyed that review slash, I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, but I had to talk about it because I had seen it and I was just like, I think there are some Dragon Ball Z fans that would definitely get a fucking kick out of seeing something this messed up. If you had seen these before, please comment down below. If there's other ones like that, again, just say something, anything like that. If the other ones are just as bad, just 
what the fuck ever. Uh, if if you have them and want to review to make it a video response, that'd be fucking fine. Or if you find an equally as retarded or unimaginably more retarded looking Dragon Ball Z figure, then that's fine too. The Chinese knockoff ones are usually really good for something like that. <laughs> but like Avengers and has Batman and somebody from Avatar in it. And it's like, and fucking uh, Charlie Brown is like, look at the Avengers! <laughs> it's like, right oh. Oh man, I love Chinese knockoff shit like that. I don't know if that one is, but regardless, it was fucking funny as hell to be able to see. So I hope you enjoyed it, nerdy thing. I want to go and share that. And so, to all the anime fans out there, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, and DBZ fans, game the fuck on. And also get a kick out of looking at really poorly made figures, because it's fucking funny.